Now, I'm one of the tiniest working models in New York City, but also I'm a body part model. And within the flesh, I thought it was appropriate to share a little adventure I had recently with some lingerie airbrush modeling. Now, in the internet age, when my agent emails me, they email me now, they don't call me anymore. Um, they say stuff like this, avail, avail tomorrow afternoon, or available this afternoon, nude for Cosmo, and I say, okay, sure. <laughs> Or I get emails saying, interested in doing a nude? Um, don't forget your robe. Um, and I get a lot of <laughs> interesting um, emails from my agent. They're, they're all about body jobs, from my earlobe, to my nips, to my chiclet, to my toes, um, to my legs. And I use what I got, my assets, to get ahead. So um, here is a little story about a recent um, lingerie airbrush experience I've had and scrubbing off this paint was an experience of its own. Um, now a girl might be taller, prettier, have better cleavage, but there is no way in hell that she has a better ass than me. Sorry. I am known as the go-to ass in the industry of modeling. You've probably seen it in many magazines actually, maybe not aware, editorials and ad campaigns for body jobs, skin care, lingerie. So um, here we go. An arrangement of feathers, sequins, rhinestones, lace, and silk are sprawled waiting on a nearby table, ready to be applied to my body. Today I am modeling for a lingerie ad, except there is no lingerie garment. <laughs> it is only myself the stylist, the photographer, the assistants, and an airbrush, makeup, equipment. <laughs> a pair of lace panties and thigh highs will soon be airbrushed on the back side of my body. And for proof, if you need it, just ask me to show you my phone, and I have like six photos to share. With the rhinestone heart, that will be nicely added to the curve of my back as a, as a little tattoo to give it a little seduction and appeal, where the spine grooves and the arch starts above my ass. When it is time to start, the stylist pulls at my robe, gently and gliding her hands to the direction to let me know I should stand in front of her. She asks me to lift my robe, honey, with her beautiful Polish accent, and I reveal my shaven chiclet with coyness sort of like a five-year-old, just waiting to see if she admires it, she's staring at it. I'm quiet, waiting for acceptance, for the shape of my lips down there, and how well I shave today. And my chiclet just sort of sits quietly, waiting for her next move. Her forefinger and her thumb stretch and measure the width between my bikini line. And she has a soft approach, a mother and, and mothers my sensitive area with a hum, maybe of a Polish song that her own mother sang to her. As she carefully cuts a piece of silk cloth into a square that perfectly will fit down below. She adds three dabs of some special body glue to my skin and then puts a silk square against my chiclet I feel the warmth of her hand pressing the fabric against me softly. It sticks and stays. I now have silk loin cloth. And for the next nine hours of the day, the tiny square fabric will act as an itty bitty curtain for down there. I am bare and the openness of the air suddenly makes my chiclet feel loose, free, and natural down there. Without the net like comfort that us girls know, from wearing our panties that what, and for what it provides to keep, to keep us tight and compact. But suddenly, my petals start to open and awake. My bare back and my lower body will be the focus for the shot. It is not about my breasts today. It is about my backside, my legs, my thighs, the curve of my back. So the loincloth covering my front is really for my own privacy. But a part of me feels 
Like I am just a slutty Pocahontas hanging out, waiting for the stylist to airbrush my ass. As the stylist decides which piece of lace will soon be pressed against my skin and then sprayed upon with some black airbrush paint and stenciled onto my skin, I do some B-roll film. As I take off my robe, a chill runs up my chest and to my shoulders, and my nipples are definitely perked as I sit on a small stool. Soon my torso is hugged in a long silk purple fabric wrapped around my small frame like a strapless gown. Behind the video camera is the photographer. It is a female today, which is rare for the industry. She hands me a purple mask that has a Mardi Gras embellishments all over it. Masks always have a mystery to them. And I've never worn masks. It hasn't always been my thing, especially in modeling. You don't often get handed a mask. But it sparks the sensuality. And I pick up a purple feather off the table, and I figure, well, maybe while wearing the mask, I could tease the camera with the feather. And I do so. Well, normally, I don't bring feathers to the bedroom. And I've never tickled anyone with a feather. <laughs> never bought feathers before, but I brush the tiny follicles and barbs against my own neckline and down my arms and towards the camera and begin to wonder why I never have. A feather, while so simple, when I tickle it against my chilled skin and let it brush against the camera lens, immediately makes me feel warm and sensual and more beautiful. I've never teased a female photographer or the video camera with a feather, but it works. And she loves it, gleefully. And she tells me that while I do it, my whole body moves. And I have this giggle that she really finds alluring. The stylist is ready now. And it's time to airbrush some thigh-high fitness fishnets to my legs. It is best to be fully bare for this. So I get rid of the purple silks the purple silk, and now it is just me and my little loincloth. So, <laughs> so that my ass is at eye level when she sits down to airbrush me, I stand on two apple boxes. For once, I am the tallest girl in the room. <laughs> Standing on the boxes, I cut my breasts with my hands and squeeze them gently because the room is cold and I also want to maintain my balance. First, a base is applied to my legs. It is gold, powdered pigment, patted down, up and down the back of my legs, rubbed aggressively to cover every piece of leg flesh. When she is done, I feel like a bronze statue, or like the Emmy Award Golden Goddess. <laughs> Only this is part one of applying fishnet airbrush. There is a technique to airbrush, and if you've ever done it, you definitely can appreciate the art. 